Hi there, this is Daniel with Keller Williams Realty and just giving you a quick market update for uh, December. Our new numbers came in and so want to give you uh, an idea of what the market is doing as we finish up 2019 and kind of what I expect things will be doing here as we go into the year 2020. Um, so our listings for December were down substantially, almost 16% as we finished out December. I know for our team, uh, we had probably, I think seven or eight pending in December, which is a little abnormal, um, you know, for just one or two agents to have that many. So uh, definitely is a big demand. So we saw that in our pending of sales, which were up uh, just over 16%. So we had uh, our listings down, our pendings were up, and then our clothes were also up almost 17%. So if you look at the 16, we're down in inventory, but then we have uh, another 16 or 17% in both pending and close pulling off. We're actually pulling off twice as much inventory as we're actually bringing out to the market. And so what we did see in the closed sales is those were up substantially over anything we had seen before in, in recent times. Uh, so what that's doing is that's causing the days on market to drop to just over a month or 41 days on market. And because of the shortage of inventory and the high demand, we saw basically about a 7% price increase over December of last year. So we finished up in December at about 265,000 for the average price point. So that's the highest we've been at. Um, and so, maybe about three years ago to give you an idea because our our amount of listings that we had on the market was about 1700 as of a couple of weeks ago so 1700 homes on the market may seem like a lot but when you look at how many are currently pending we have about 1400 detached homes so when you divide that 17 into the 14 it comes out to about 83 percent so what that means is 83% of the homes that are currently on the market in about the next five to six weeks should be pulled off the market because they've gone pending or closed. Um, so what that means for buyers is it's really a challenge. I know that for the buyers we're working with right now, uh, just had one in the last week where we were in multiple offer situations on, with them. The first house they lost, uh, the second house, uh, we were able to secure that. We have some really good strategies when we're in a multiple offer situation or when we have demand like we do. So we were able to obtain that home. So if you're a buyer, it's, there is hope. Um, but we, do, we need to really make sure that you're ready to buy so that you look really good to a seller. Now, if you're thinking of selling, uh, this is an ideal time to sell. There's no point in waiting till the spring when you're gonna have more competition. I'm gonna say that right now is the time you wanna consider listing so that you don't have to deal with as much competition. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and release some more information here as far as how the year finished out for us. A uh, very strong year for us and we're looking at 2020 and more of the same. I've got a lot of people coming in. Uh, we're here at the Old Town location, so we have a lot of people who are inquiring from out of state. Uh, lots of companies are moving here into the Albuquerque area as well as the surrounding areas of Los Alamos and Santa Fe. Uh, so we're going to see probably increased demand, increased prices. Uh, so we have some great strategies for people who are buying. And for those of you who are selling, uh, you know, this is a great time. I think you're going to catch this right at the right time if you want to sell. Again, this is Daniel with the Gallo Group at Keller Williams, where we're your advocate in real estate. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.